Um, Mount St. Mary's was fantastic. Um, they were getting ready to the fold right before half, and um, uh, we made a couple bad plays towards the end of the first half. Uh, I think we were up 15. And then we started the second half, we fumbled the layup out of bounds, and they started getting hot. They were hot the first half, six out of 10, to keep it at 13. And uh, they had a lot of guys just really played well. I thought they were, fan I thought they were fantastic. And, um, but that said, I didn't do a very good job tonight uh, until the end. Um, but I don't know if it was me or our guys just bailing me out. Trail made some good plays down the stretch. Uh, our ball screen defense was terrible all night. Uh, we never adjusted. Tried to adjust, couldn't adjust. And, um, uh, we got to figure out. I, I'm not used to not guarding. This is all new to me. Um, and, and we have, you know, we're, we're not a bad team. You know, but we're not guarding. And uh, if you guard, the game's not close. But, we got to figure out a way as a coaching staff to teach these guys how to guard better. It's, otherwise, it's going to not be much fun uh, when. So, uh, give them credit. They made a lot of tough shots. But we, and then once again, I want when, when things start to go bad, we all hang our heads, including our coaches tonight. And um, we can't do that. We got to stay positive. We got to get out of it when it goes bad a lot quicker. But that's it. Mount Saint Mary's was great. We won the game. Nick had a big block. Mike made big, big free throws. Have, you know, played with a little urgency down the stretch, which is the difference. Questions? Do, do you... Microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Microphone. Do, do you um, consider this a step back from the other day? Uh, you know what? I, you know, we had a good practice yesterday, and it, it didn't carry over. We, we did some really nice things at times. Um, so... I'm not going to say it's a step back um, because they, they, they played ex an exceptional game. Um, they're going through some transition stuff and it might have helped them, but um, I, I'm not going to say it's a step back. Patrick, uh, given, like you say, how they were shooting in the first half, how disappointing was it the defense got worse in the second half? Yeah, I don't know if the defense got worse in the second half. Their execution got better. Um, they were sort of around the Prince and stuff. And they got some easy ones on us. They did a double back door, which we hadn't seen. Um, uh, you know, I, I don't know if it got worse. Um, I, I think they played with just so much more confidence. And it's made, they made a lot of really good plays. And um, I'll be anxious to watch the film to see if you're right. Um, you know, defense is in front of our base the first half. That always helps. I just got to get a little better defensively, so we'll be a lot of practice time. Bruce, good day. Coach, uh, two things. Uh, you got to be happy with Peggy tonight. But also, going forward, Terrell's becoming not a secret anymore. So, you know, how do you adjust to that? Because I'm sure you're going to start to see a lot more pressure on him. Yeah, the kid's just so good. He still scores. And, um, uh, yeah, I was, I was pleased with Panky. I thought the first 10 minutes of the game, our post guys were as weak as they could play. We're falling down. Their post guys were men, big, strong guys, and we're knocking us around, and we're falling down. And, and I thought they manhandled us, but then I thought Panky stepped up. Uh, James did a little bit uh, uh, in the second half, so I was, I was happy. But now Terrell hasn't been a secret for a while because he's averaging over 20, and uh, you see it with all the teams, what they're trying to do to take them out of the game. Uh, Terrell's just got to, we got to get to the point where he, you know, he comes off a ball screen, he's double teams, he's just got to pass it, you know, because otherwise we're not going to get better. But a lot of the shots he took in the second half, you know, was out of the offense, plays I call things, forced a couple uh, early in the half, but it was really actually a down screen and out of our, out of our stuff. So we're just trying to figure out different ways uh, to get him involved Dave, you talk about Nick tonight. Uh, team high, 37 minutes, and uh, getting that big block there at the end. Felt box scored a lot of little things. Yeah, I thought he played harder defensively. Um, you know, I met, met with Nick yesterday, and I said your offense can't affect the rest of your game. You got to defend. You got to rebound. You got to make assists. You know, make guys around you better. 
And uh, the whole difference is Nick got to the foul line, he got to the glass, he got you know, to the rim. And, uh, and that got him going, and he made a three because of it. And uh, still took a couple ill-advised shots, but um, you know, hopefully he's going to grow out of that. Uh, but, you know, he, he, I thought he played with great effort, and he didn't give up on that last play. Some kids would. Uh, we were beating, he came and blocked that kid's layup, and I'm going to give them a one-point lead. And, um, so it was good effort. I, I was I was, I was pleased with Nick tonight. Jeff? Yeah. So Mark, when you talked about needing to play better defense against the ball screens, is that is that a matter of switching more? Is it a matter of being more aggressive and jumping out? And, I mean, and, and, and is that is that the issue with them getting like, getting double digits on the three-pointer? Well, our ball screen defense was an issue. It's, it's a number of things. Okay, Consistency would be the biggest problem. Consistently guarding it the way that we're supposed to guard it every time. Okay? And then all of a sudden, we're not guarding it the right way, so now we're, scr we're in a scramble mode. And we just haven't been able, we're getting better, but we're not good in a scramble mode when you know we have to stay a little bit longer on it because the guard gets caught or whatever. And um, uh, you know, we tried three, actually four different ball screen defenses throughout the game. Really none of them worked. We switched at the very end, one through four, and uh, that might have helped us a little bit. I was worried about rebounding. Uh, that might help a little bit. So I, I just got I got a lot of time before our next game, and I have a lot of time before our next game after that. We're just going to practice. You know, it's just hard to simulate in practice right now for us. So um, that's the hard part. But I got to I got to get it figured out because um, I'm not used to this. What are two more, Patrick? Mark, I know you spent most of this last ten minutes without talking about the defense. The offense had like an eight-minute stretch there in the second half where you guys did a shot. Yeah. What did you see kind of break down there? No, we just panicked. We were we just panicked, we missing layups and, and shots, and uh, we just panicked. You know, took Terrell out for a little bit, didn't run plays for Terrell during that time. You know, we got we got we got to I mean we got to figure it out. I mean we can't just rely on that kid all the year. So um, we got just panicked, we missed some easy ones. We guys couldn't finish. Do you feel like guys like he's not in there? No. Our guy, everybody, kids today, I was only thinking about schools. So if I like it, Glenn and Chris, that'll do it. Mark, after Ellen, you had some, expressed some concern about Nick's confidence and where he was at. Do you feel a week later as though that's bounced back more? It was there tonight. It was there yesterday in practice. And um, I think, I don't know, what he did is, you know, kids get so caught up in scoring in their shot. That's all they think about. And then they see the numbers and, you know, and people are saying, oh, Nick can't shoot and all this kind of stuff. And he's reading it, which I, I never read, but kids do. So we just tried to simplify it. Defend and rebound, get to the foul line and make, get shots for Terrell, get shots for Sean. And I thought he did that tonight, five assists. And so you simplify the game for him. And if you're going to score, get all the way to the rim. Bad shot, or she shot the jump shot. Shouldn't have done that. After that, he started taking it to the rim. And then his first two free throws bounced in and stood out. That's, that's huge for him. Man. Last one, Chris. Uh, Coach, how do they handle that linking situation with a lot of the guys have not ever been in that spot before? What can you take away? What can you <clears throat> well, you know, um, I talk to them all the time. It's a, it's a close game. We're going to win. And, um, and how you're going to do it. Now, what really helps if you defend and rebound, then you, you really win close games. We're not doing that yet. So um, we executed. You know, Terrell Bellis out made some tough shots during that stretch. Uh, Mike made the free throws. It was a, you know, the easy part. But I thought we really executed. We ran, ran some things. And even when we missed, James got all the way to the rim. You know, he's got to make those. He's got to make those. We shot 16.